Hello and welcome everybody to my kitchen. Today I'm excited to be sharing with you a little baking adventure that we're going to go on. We're going to be baking some maple syrup cinnamon cookies. Now we're not doing this in kind of a traditional way, it's kind of unique. We're going to be taking our dough and we're not sticking it in the oven. We're putting it in a waffle iron. I don't know why. The recipe says so. We're doing it. I don't care. It's going to be exciting. I'm glad you're here with us. Let's get cooking, everybody. All right, everybody. Here are the ingredients that we're gonna need today. For the glaze, we're gonna need some powdered sugar, some maple syrup, and some salt. For the cookie dough, we're gonna need butter, eggs, sugar, salt, ground cinnamon, and your choice of all-purpose flour. I'm going with gluten-free. Now, some other odds and ends you're gonna need. Obviously, we're going to need a waffle iron. This is my trusty little guy. Now, the first thing this recipe calls for is to cream together the butter and the sugar. We're gonna get to it. It does call for a, a standing mixer, but the best I've got is this little hand mixer, so we're gonna just make do with what we've got. Now our next step is going to be heating up our waffle iron. I'm heating it up to about halfway, hopefully that'll do it. Then we're going to take our batter, we're going to spoon out tablespoon sizes to put it in each of our quadrants here of our waffle iron. We're going to let them sit for two to four minutes, hop, pop them out, stick them on our cookie sheet over here, let them cool.
all we've got left to do is to mix together our last few ingredients. We got these sugar and cinnamon, and then we'll use a little pinch of salt. Not too much to go. We're almost there. All that's left to do now is glaze these cookies. Let's get to it. We did it. Man, that was a great time. Baking the cookies in the waffle iron worked out perfectly. So simple, so easy. Just wait those two, three, four minutes. They come out nice. At first I was really worried because they came out a little floppy. I was thinking, oh no, what have I done? This isn't a cookie, this is a waffle. But now they are just, they're crisp. I held them a little bit ago, oh my gosh. Glazing them. Super simple, the glaze itself was really easy. I did have to add milk, like the recipe suggests, up halfway through or so. Um, it was getting a little thick, a little too hard to deal with. But man, just look at this thing. Check this thing out. That thing is so good looking. I'm excited to eat this. You guys want a bite? Y'all want a bite? Nah, you can't have a bite. I am though. That's not right. That is so good. That is so easy. Holy cow. If you're ever in a bind and you need to make a quick, easy cookie for something, I don't know what it is. Whatever it is, this is so good. And so simple. Recipe's gonna be linked down below. Holy cow, I'm gonna keep eating these. I hope you guys enjoyed. My mouth's full of food now. Mmm! That was really good. I'm gonna suggest you guys make these things. That was so easy, so good. And I'll catch you all on the flip side. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below what I should make next. Would love to hear your suggestions. Thank you.